With that nearly $900 billion health care bill, someone has to foot the bill for the whole thing. Now, the House and Senate versions of health care reform include a number of increased taxes to do just that. Some of them might seem a little bit strange. Fox Toledo's Christy Lee is live now with what she has found. Well, anything from getting a tan to pumping insulin, even buying a prosthetic could end up costing you more. That's because the current bills include provisions that would tax certain medical devices and the use of indoor tanning services. Taxing the use of tanning beds is a last-minute provision Senate Democrats inserted into their health care overhaul. It imposes a 10% sales tax on clients who purchase tanning services. The rationale is that tanning beds create health problems. Local tanning salons are not pleased with the provision, but many of them have been instructed not to comment on the issue. But the owner of Matthew Vincente Salon in South Toledo offers tanning in his hair salon and says... It could even be harder for a small business like mine or others around the area to uh, pay for their, their electric, electrical bills, that's going up, let alone having tax on this, this gonna, I think is going to really hit the, hit the small consumers really hard, so I'm not real happy with it. He also points out tanning has health benefits, like improved mood and absorption of vitamin D. The tanning tax would raise an estimated $2.7 billion over the next 10 years. A medical device tax would raise much more than that, about $20 billion in the next decade. It would tax certain medical devices, among them prosthetics, some doctors at a local orthotic and prosthetic center are concerned about the legislation. Certified prosthetist Ben Hammond says prosthetics are absolutely necessary for improving quality of life. And with an increase in tax on manufacturers, it will end up having some effect on the patient himself. Another tax device would be an electric breast pump for nursing. Many pumps cost between $100 and $400, so some local lactation consultants are concerned it would affect the decision and ability to nurse. But on a positive note, the bill also includes a provision that would require employers to provide a room and time for pumping breaks. One time that she would need to do it, or two if she has a you know small baby, 12-hour um, shift, shift for like nurses or things like that, you're looking at two to three times. Um, Typically, people will take smoking breaks for that same length of time. So, Many of the doctors and lactation consultants I spoke with today said they were upset that they hadn't heard of these health care bill additions before today. Reporting live, Christy Lee, Fox Toledo News, first at four. All right, Christy, thank you. And we want to know what you think now. What do you think about some of those odd proposed taxes within the health care reform bill? Send us your feedback on Facebook or Twitter. You can just send us an email if you want to, and we'll read some of them tonight, first at 10.